international demeanor. In the middle of Pride Month, 49 beautiful, young, queer, and trans people of color were targeted for a kiss. You'd think it's a 49-year-old gay, hugely positive man who's been working in HIV for most of his career and have a better handle on grief and loss. That the indifference and politics of elected officials would be old news and easily shrugged off. But it's simply not so. The upstairs lounge, New Orleans, Louisiana, 1973, 32 dead. The other side lounge, Atlanta, Georgia, 1997, five wounded. The Admiral Duncan Pub, London, England, 1999, three dead, 81 wounded. The Backstreet Cafe, Roanoke, Virginia, 2000, one dead, two wounded. Neighbors Nightclub, Seattle, Washington, 2014, arson that thankfully claimed their lives. Pulse Nightclub, Orlando, Florida, 2016, 49 dead, 53 wounded. I look back on the indifference we faced during the early days of the AIDS epidemic, when gay men were dying by the thousands and the stigma we face to this day. Matthew Shepard. But what really set me off was this thought. That, that, that if the death of 22 children and their teachers in Sandy Hook couldn't change American gun laws, how can we expect 20, 49 dead queer and trans people of color to have an impact? Already we hear phrases like this was an attack against all of us, an attack against humanity. I call BS. This is a hate crime targeting the LGBT, LGBT community, homophobia and transphobia in its vilest form. I am tired of turning the other cheek. I am tired of having to justify my life to pundits and religious leaders that turn parables into rhetoric that belittles, demeans, and trivializes our lives, our love, and our right to exist in peace. Every queer person here understands the hypervigilance we wear like a mantle every minute of every day of our lives. Am I safe in this space to hold my partner's hand, kiss them, talk openly about our lives? <clears throat> That quick look over your shoulder, that tightness in your belly when someone sees and looks away with distaste. The constant coming out as you start a new job or school or move to a new neighborhood and the butterflies of hope that it will go well. It stems from a lifetime of experience homophobia, homophobia and discrimination that we all share. But it's also a thread that ties us together as community. No matter where you go in the world, you can walk into a gay business or community center and know you'll be with others who feel it too. Bears or bull dykes, cisgendered or trans, tricks or muscle boys, leather folk or drag queens, we are connected. The grief of the LGBT community, LGBTQ communities worldwide are experiencing so viscerally is proof of that connection. We know it could have just as easily been us, and we re resent the invasion of such wanton violence and hate into one of our safe spaces of celebration, and inclusivity, and nightclub in Orlando. But that shared connection has buoyed my heart over the last 24 hours as well. Queer and trans people and our allies have come together to share our sadness, mourn those murdered, and demonstrate that love is stronger than hate. Images of visuals from around the world have moved me profoundly. It has eased that ache in my body and is slowly healing my battered heart. So what do I do with my rage? I will channel it into something good have to. I will not give the haters the satisfaction of seeing me rent, and I urge all of you to do the same. If you're able, find your inner activist. When you hear people talking about the events of Sunday night, remind them it was queer and trans people of color who were the targets. Don't let people whitewash our grief. If you hear people pontificating about Muslims, step into that conversation and stop that Islamophobic BS cult. Don't let anyone derail the conversation we need to have about the years of systemic oppression and violence that LGBTQ two communities face just for being who we are by making it, up, making it about anything other than it, what it was, a hate crime targeting queer and trans communities. If you are an ally, be the ally we need. Step in every time you hear homophobic and transphobic language. Use your privilege to educate and transform our world. Hug your families, chosen and biological. Tell people you haven't spoken to in a while how much you love them. Donate money to the GLAD Fund for the survivors of the massacre. Donate blood if you're allowed. It may not save lives in Orlando, but it will save some here in Durham. Talk it through with your colleagues and families. Talk to a therapist or your spiritual advisor. If you need to, 
called Pride Lane Durham and speak to a volunteer counselor. Just please, and it's internalize your pain. Let it out. In turn, ask your friends if they are okay and how you can help them if they are not. Build community. Build trust. Build ethical space for people to find their resilience through this debilitating yet transformative grief process. Connor Dowdy of the Huffington Post wrote today, the LGBTQ plus community is one of the most resilient groups in the world. We are full of vibrant survivors who continue to be joyous and loving in spite of the ugly battles behind us and ahead. The shooting at Pulse was an attack on LGBTQ love, an attack meant to break us. But the truth is we can never be broken. We have suffered through and survived too much to be destroyed. <clears throat> but at the same time, just because we can withstand the worst of storms does not mean we should be subjected to them. In closing, remember this is Pride Month. Do something LGBTQ affirming. While it might be scary, perhaps even scarier than it was before, hold your lover's hand in public. Come out. Live your life. Laugh. Make out. Make love. Show love. Feel love. That's how we fight back. So that one day you won't have to say, it gets better. We can say, it is better. Me, I'm going to be dancing in a gay nightclub. There are 49 fabulous reasons for me to keep dancing. I will not surrender my hard won freedoms or their memory to fear. Keep dancing, Orlando. Keep dancing, Durham Regional. Keep dancing, my queer brothers and sisters everywhere. You are loved. <laughs>